39% of dairy cows in Western Europe are affected by ketosis after calving. 85% of farms have an individual disease incidence over 25%. How does ketosis develop and affect the cow's energy metabolism? In a well-fed cow, nutrient demand and supply are balanced. The feed is degraded in the rumen, and propionate is transported to the liver mitochondria, where it is metabolized to glucose. Glucose is the main energy source for the cow and her milk production inside the mammary glands. Under normal conditions, non-esterified fatty acids NIFA, are formed into triglycerides and stored in adipose tissues as fat reserves. Only a small part is used inside the liver as an energy source. A cow in a negative energy balance has too low feed intake to fit her demand. Therefore, she is mobilizing her reserves, triglycerides from adipose tissues are transported as NIFA to the liver. But here, the metabolism is not able to utilize them all. Ketone bodies are formed, released into the bloodstream, and can be detected in milk, urine, and blood. Some NIFA are not even metabolized in the liver, but stored there in form of triglycerides. The fatty liver syndrome occurs. When applying ketovital bolus to the cow, the containing glucose precursors calcium and sodium propionate are fast degraded in the rumen and increase the amount of available propionate. The included yeast is optimizing the ruminal digestion and the utilization of the ingested feed, a higher amount of nutrients is available. Additionally, yeast is increasing the feed intake itself. Niacin is reducing the lipolysis of body fat, and by this, the formation of ketone bodies and the development of fatty liver syndrome. Selenium and vitamin E are antioxidant substances, and by this, they are protecting and supporting the liver and other tissues. Prevent ketosis in dairy cows. Keto Vital Bolus